Hi, thanks for joining me in another lockdown coffee with Trees of Warren. It's a bit windy out here today. I've made it to the Insta sign on my daily run. So it's lovely countryside. I thought um, hubby's at home cooking, so I thought I'd quickly pop out for a run. Sorry, my hair's all over the place. <laughs> Just thought I'd stop in this local field and show you the views. Beautiful weather today, a bit windy. So this morning I went to um, a local store, um, Home Bargains, picked up some cereal for the kids because they enjoy mateys and it's probably the cheapest place that sell it, which is £1.99 instead of usually £3 in supermarkets. So I popped in there. Um, also um, grabbed lots of um, beauty products so because they're really good price in there so I thought maybe I'd do a little um, video about um, sort of me having a spa day at home I think I deserve it <laughs> hi thanks for joining me as you can see I'm in my ensuite bathroom with my Lambrini um, put the kids to bed so now I'm ready just to do a little bit of a spa treatment for myself and I thought I'd show you what my routine is or the products that I use and some that I picked up today from Home Bargains. So I've had a shower, dried my hair and usually um, straight after a shower I cover my body with this which is Coca Radiant with pure cocoa butter. Heals dry skin, renewals natural glow, um, non-greasy lotion, and it smells absolutely amazing. Uh, it's quite strong, unique, but it's definitely lovely. So is that on? I think I'll get that in boots. Um, as you might have noticed, my lip's quite red. And I used a hair remover on my lip um, because obviously I, being dark skinned and dark hair, I get lip, la uh, lip hair there with a little moustache. So every two weeks maybe or longer, I just use this. And it's lasted a long time, I need a new one, but you just brush it on and then leave it on for three minutes sometimes a bit longer it has gone red it is for sensitive skin but it's it is quite strong that one um but obviously my hair is quite coarse anyway being darker so i i need that it's gone a bit red but i put some moisturizer on to cool it down so that's the product that i usually use yeah it's just nice to relax when the kids are in bed so I thought, picked up some products today. So I usually use this T-Zone skincare. It's 99p and you get six strips and it's charcoal, nose, nasal strips or nose strips. Um, and they're fantastic because I get blackheads on my nose. So when that rips off, takes all the dirt out with it. And I bought this today, Blackhead Peel Off Facial Mask with charcoal extracts. And you get five in a pack there. I'll show you, so five. Um, then ones, I'm, I haven't used that one before, but I've used charcoal ma masks before. And when you rip them off, they can hurt a little bit. So I won't use that one today because it might make my skin quite sore because I've already but I'll um, use that one and show you how to do that one. Also in my drawer, I've got lots of peel off masks. I always make sure I keep them in the house for once a week. So today I picked up this, which is white glow toothpaste. I thought um, as I've been having a lot of lockdown coffees, my teeth are going a bit yellow. I've always had a yellow tint anyway, but I thought this might be worth a shot. It's got, comes with a toothpaste, toothbrush, and the toothpaste. 
which is, I've already just tried it, it's a clear, doesn't really taste of much. Let's just use it twice a day, which I brush my teeth twice a day anyway. And then the little toothpicks, and that's quite nice. And a little booklet. So I thought that might be quite a nice to try out. And it was one, one forty nine. Um, usually I'd use just Colgate um, Whole Mouth Health. Put that back in there. Um, my husband's dentist um, suggests that he use that for his gums, so that's what he uses. Doesn't particularly taste nice that one though. Um, also, I picked up this for ninety nine p. I thought it's worth a shot for a whitening pen. Starts whitening as quickly as one day. So I have to let you know what the results are. Then you just take the lid off, do that till the little liquid comes out and then just brush on your top ones and then your bottom ones, wipe any excess away. I haven't used it before, I've just read the instructions though. And then leave on for 30 minutes, but um, make sure you don't eat or drink um, after that time. So um, I won't use that just yet, but I will film myself using it once I finish my lambrini. Yeah, so now I'll move on to doing my nose strip. <laughs> Hope you enjoy watching that. So I'll just move you over here near the mirror. So it's a bit closer. Sorry about that. <laughs> I am currently, I do apologise about my eyebrows. Um, usually I'd always pluck them thin, sort of being in the 90s, growing up then, we always used to pluck our eyebrows really thin, but now it's popular to have thick eyebrows, and you can leave there. So um, if only I'd known that then, I would not I would have left them alone. So I'm just going to do this nasal strip. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to grow them at the moment, but they're very patchy, where they're not growing in sections, so I'm having to pencil them in. Um, I don't like using pencils on my eyebrows, but um, while I've got all these gaps, I'm going to have to. So with these, you get little packets inside. It's 99p for about six usually from home bargains. That's why I get them anyway. And then you just wet your nose. <laughs> just make sure it's got a surface. To grab onto. You only really have to do this if you've got blackheads. And then pop it on. Very attractive. What we have to do is to stay beautiful and then just wet it a little bit more maybe. And then that one says to leave it on for five to ten minutes just till it dries. And then usually the results on these are amazing for me. I peel it off and oi. Oh. While this is drying, I thought I'd just show you my unit underneath my sink. Um, I think it was £30 from B&M, but it's been a lifesaver. So I can keep all my products inside and hide them away from the kids. So I've got lots of hand creams in here, hand and nail cream. I bought this one today from Home Bargains. I think it was 99p. I don't know if you can see it. Since we've um, been in lockdown, washing our hands a lot more often, it's probably a good idea to keep your hands hydrated when they're getting very dry. So I've been using that as well. It smells gorgeous. And then also I usually keep my night cream and day cream and I'll show you these. These are from Aldi and usually when I run out I get these ones. So it's Lactora Flames and it's Q10 night cream with avocado oil, sort of anti-wrinkle cream for during the night because I am sort of 34 now, so I have to think about looking after my skin. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite a big tub, 
And I'm just doing a plastic tub, but I mean, I think it's two pounds, two pounds online. I did see it was 8 99 So I'm not sure why online it's any different. I tried this one, the Nivea one. And to be honest, this is a lot more expensive. Doesn't look much different. There's less in it. Yeah, it looks a bit more creamier. Not sure. I tried that one, but my it brought my skin up, so perhaps it was too strong for me. And this one is my absolute favourite from Aldi. I think online it's twelve ninety nine. So it's Lactura again, Rejuvenate Day Cream with SPF thirty. Let me see it. So there it comes in a box like that. I reckon to, recommended my mum to get it as well recently because it's such a good price. It's sort of age range 40 to 60, probably a bit older for me, but um, I like the idea of the SPF 30 in it. There's the details on the back. Have a, have a look online, but it's lovely glass bottle, red. And then, oh, I haven't used this one yet. I, um, I've already got another one in there. <laughs> so that's the colour. I don't know if in this light you can see it very well. It's like a very creamy colour. It's at the, and that's a day cream. Sort of protects your face against the sun. Also helps um, helps produce careful forming out here. Rejuvenate range. Been designed using the latest skincare technology. Apply in the morning after cleansing face. Gently massage in, and also you can put your makeup on top, so it's really lovely. Um, just trying to read a bit more. Yeah, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, and leaves the skin hydrated and feels protected. So that's my absolute favourite. So I love that one, and I'd highly recommend that one because I always use it. And um, in the store, I, I don't, I think. Um, it was like 165 the last time I went in there, but sometimes it's three pounds. But online it's like 12.99, but you can't buy it from Aldi direct from online. Um, it says produced in Germany, cruelty free international. But I love that one. And what I usually do is I keep the packaging of products that I've tried before. To know which ones to go back to and that my skin reacts nicely with so I don't know that's a little tip and perhaps I keep products that I've had before and price on I usually list the price to see sort of value for money perhaps being a mum <laughs> and then obviously I keep these in there face masks a few more face masks you can get a lot in these drawers I'm quite impressed put them back in but yeah, I haven't really used that one because the Nivea seems to bring my skin up, unfortunately. So I leave that one out because I want to use the night cream after I've done my face mask. And I did buy this today. I'm just trying to figure out how much it was. Serum. Uh, $2.99. Golden Collagen Serum. Let's see what that is. It looks lovely. $2.99. Home bargains. Hmm. I thought it was worth a shot. It says... Glowing and smoother looking complexion, lines and wrinkles appear reduced. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got some coming up under here, or smile lines, as I, I don't know if you can see, so I probably need an eye one. And there's the little bottle. So, I don't know, where's my camera? Is it picking it up? And it's got like gold in the bottom, so I'm just assuming you have to shake it. And then, oh yeah, that's. Oh, God, I'm glittering now. Two ninety nine. So we'll see how that one works tomorrow, perhaps. And there was, yeah, little droplets. There was a vitamin, um, a vitamin one there as well. Um, one for during the day. Um, this drawer I keep fake nails. <laughs> when my nails keep breaking. <laughs> It's easier just to buy these for a pound in B&M. 
quickly put them on. <laughs> Looks like I've got been to the salon. I just like every now and then I just buy some designs. Um, these are my absolute favourite, which are the ombre ones. I'm saving these for special. One pound fifty Primark. So I am a Primark girl sometimes. Yeah. Um, the odd nail varnishes. I think I got this one, holographic one, from um, Home Bargains. I think that was just 59p or something. And these were probably just £1.40 from there. Um, yeah, so nail varnishes. I'm keeping there. I've got a box of nail varnishes in my bedroom. Because every Christmas I say to my husband, oh, please buy me nail varnish. Majority of the colour is just a deep red that I wear, or nude nails. And then this one at the bottom, just keep razors. And these were from um, B&M 199, I think. Big pack. Can never have too much. Also, I've got some mm, bath bombs my husband bought me. From his work in Banbury. Um, in this big one, moisturisers, the body, uh, cotton buds, hand sterilizer, very important nowadays, um, and other sort of hair products. The makeup remover face cloths, so just add warm water. Because I haven't, um, and also I picked up this foam face wash tea tree so when it comes out it's 89p in home bargains when it comes out it's just like that it smells lovely yeah so i've used it a couple of times seems lovely on the face better than using some harsh products um usually i use this but it's a bit harsh on my skin really So in this side, I keep my face powder, which is just Banana Dreams Loose Powder. I don't usually use very much of that. I think that's just 2 99 just normal powder. Um, my makeup set. So mascara, eyebrow pencils, lipsticks, uh, lip liners, things like that in there. these today because I needed some new sponges. Um, another makeup bag. Um, keep concealers, sticks, my old sponges in there. Uh, eye tweezers. Clinique. And foundation concealer. Contouring. Brushes. Concealers, things like that. And then my last drawer, usually keep. Um, my brother bought me this from Primark, I think. So, absolutely love that palette, my favourite. So, that's what I use usually. I have got others in there, but that's my favourite. Um, this one, Gentle Soothing Oatmeal Face Scrub. Soothes away dryness. That one's quite nice. Smells lovely. Mm. I think it's one ninety nine. Um, this I bought ages ago. Let's see, it's for your hair. Uh, it's oil, so with Moroccan argon oil extract. Intense hydrating treatment. Probably need that one at the moment. But I did. I keep these in there as well. Which are only ninety nine p. Sort of repair and protect three minute conditioner. I leave it on in the shower, and then rinse it off after three minutes because my hair does get quite dry. Also being quite long, so I usually use that or add that one. But try not to add that one to your roots because. 
can make you quite oily up there. Um, also hair grips, <laughs> lots of them. Yeah, so that's what's in them cupboards. Put that all back. Um, and my go-to perfume at the moment is by Rihanna. You can see my husband picked it up for me for Christmas because uh, I love the smell. Very good price as well. Mm, so that's my everyday one at the moment. She can't smell it, but it's worth a try. Lovely glass bottle. It's lasted quite a while as well. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's nice to have expensive ones when you're going out for the evening, but for, for every day, you know, it can be very expensive. So I use that for my everyday one. Let's see if this is dry. Probably peel it off now. Right, let's have a go at peeling this off. Peel it off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, a bit black on my nose left. It's not the most attractive thing to do. Well, I don't think my camera's going to pick it up. So luckily, the camera didn't really pick it up, but it's really disgusting. It's come off my out my pores. So I'm just going to rinse my face. All right, so now I'm going to put a face mask on. Deep sea peel off. <laughs> Normal and oily skin, because my skin's usually quite oily. And then it goes on for about 20 minutes. And then it should just peel off nice and easily. So my skin definitely needs it at the moment. So you can't see it very much. Oh, it's very tingly. It's meant to be a bluey colour. <laughs> Go back over my nose. It's quite sticky. I thought I won't scare you and do a clay one. <laughs> So I put it on and walk around the house and the kids are like, oh, mommy, what happened? They're quite used to seeing me once a week walking around with a face mask. <laughs> but usually, yeah, it's a charcoal one or some sort of darker colour one. There's not very much in this pack. I was going to do my neck a little bit. You get spots up here sometimes. So it's always it's always nice to do your neck as well. But there's not much in there. Unless I put it on too thick. Not quite not that easy to see on my complexion. So yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to peel that off easily. <laughs> nice and smooth. Hope it improves my skin this week. There's some weeks my skin's you know, lovely. Other weeks I break out in spots. I've been really healthy following Slimmer World this week. I think maybe the running when you get sweaty all over your face doesn't help. It causes me to uh, break out in spots, unfortunately. I mean, uh, as I say, I've been really healthy this week. I haven't had loads of chocolate or biscuits or anything. I'm trying to I'm gonna stick to my well-being of healthy eating and running and fitness so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment and I thought also that I'd just try this now I've finished my glass of margarine let's see what this does because that's got about 20 minutes and this has got 30 and just click that It's not focusing my camera now. And the liquid, there we go, should come up. It's coming up there now. Yeah, so I thought I'd put that on my teeth. See if they come up any whiter. See what I mean? I've got a, yeah, like a yellowy tint. 
Touch weird. I've never had anything wrong with my tooth though. Ugh, doesn't taste that nice. I do apologise. I'm just waiting for my face to dry. It's a bit of a horror film at the moment. <laughs> it's all shiny. While I wait for that to dry, I'm just going to give my nails and toenails a coat of base coat clear and then this nice coal holographic paint colour and then anti-chip top coat. I've got my toe dividers and my cuticle cutters and file and nail polish remover for my toes. Um, I thought I'd show you these lovely books that I picked up today. Um, 89p, really beautiful pages about racing with their imagination um, in Sweetie Land. Really lovely books, especially for 69p and lovely ending and quite long as well. Um, at the ending they hug each other, smile and say we love our magical racing day really lovely books and this one the little red hen so lovely pages inside they're probably quite easy for a child to read as well so yeah lovely colorful pages um, and at the back it's got all the collections so I think we'll be picking up a few more of them because they're lovely books for the children. Um, usually books are quite expensive and at the moment in lockdown, our children, I don't know about yours, but they've sort of read all, most of their books, or well, Mummy's been reading them to them at bedtime as well, uh, the longer stories. And these are quite a nice length, so they're not going to sort of say, oh, can I have another one after, because they're a nice lengthy story. Um, yeah, so that was... Really good find today. Sorry, I'm like an advert for Home Bargains today, but that's the only shop I've been in for a long time. Great value, <laughs> 69p. <laughs> um, comment below if you know of any other places that are good with social distancing um, and also a sort of good value for money when we're trying to save the pennies in these uncertain times would be most appreciated. Um, so I'll just paint my nails and then take this off and then I'll show you myself applying moisturiser for my nightly routine before bed. Right, so now my face mask is ready to peel off. Ooh, <laughs> not the prettiest sign. Oh, I've done my nails. So that's the nice, it's come out a really nice colour, yeah. Take all this off, Ooh. told you it was like a horror film, yeah, feels nice and soft underneath. <laughs> the joys of being a woman. <laughs> I just need to grow my nails a bit longer because they keep breaking. Um, I have been taking, me and the kids and hubby have been taking multivitamins since lockdown. Every day, dedicated. Also Amiga. We thought it might help our immune system. Got a bit in my hair then. Oh no. <laughs> I'm quite, I've been really lucky with my hair because apart from one or two greys, touch wood, <laughs> I've never actually had many grey hairs and I'm 34 so I'm doing really well. Because I've only ever dyed the bottom of my hair for like a bullyage, is it? Um, so that's the only part that's ever been bleached. So my face feels lovely and soft. Take a few days to settle down, probably. 
So I'm just applying my Q10 night cream, which I do every night. And then I use the day cream to protect my skin from the sun. Oh, put too much on that. I have to rub it in. I probably should use a cream for under eyes. So they get quite dark there. Please feel free to comment below what cream that you use or that you feel find works for under eyes for creases. I've always had this crease here ever since I frown line, ever since I was little. better and then in the morning once I put my wash my face again and put my moisturizer on for the day top just a little bit of makeup on should be a nice foundation now look for a nice clear face <laughs> generally my face is quite clear thank you for watching my video today uh, my face feels a lot smoother um, please click like and subscribe to my channel for more and give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I'll have to see if my teeth are any whiter <laughs> in a few days time. Um, yeah, and hopefully my skin will feel a lot better. It's been really lovely having a spa evening at home and just relaxing. Um, so yeah, it's been really lovely while the kids are sort of asleep. <laughs> I'm pretty knackered now, so I'm going to go to sleep before they wake me up in the morning for another day. Bye, take care.